Good morning, guys. It is currently 6.23 a.m. I'm currently getting myself ready to hit the gym. I'm preparing my pre-workout cocktail, which includes my Alani New pre-workout. I just started taking creatine maybe two weeks ago. This is from Burn Boot Camp. If you guys didn't know, I do go to Burn Boot Camp classes. That's my form of hitting the gym. I do prefer group fitness classes over working out by myself, but of course, I do like to go to the gym by myself when I can't go to my burn boot camp classes and i also add my spoiled child collagen so yeah let me get that together i basically just put everything in this shaker bottle with some water shake it up and drink it like 10 minutes before i hit the gym i usually drink it while i'm driving there my fridge looks a little empty but that'll change once we leave the gym because i have a walmart pickup order ready at 8 a.m i also want to stop by hair cedar because i want some new flowers and i think that harris teeter has um very nice pretty flowers i usually get my flowers from target but they're starting to look the same i want something different something new i'm gonna do half a scoop of this pre-workout because this is 200 milligrams of caffeine and i don't need that much um we're doing upper body today so half a scoop of that and i'm gonna do one full scoop of creatine if you guys are interested in taking creatine and like the benefits of it i recommend searching it on google because I just started and the trainers recommended it for me. What I do know is that you recover faster after the gym. There's also some cognitive benefits. Something about helping your body retain water. I don't know, like, don't ask me. I'm telling you guys now, don't ask me about creatine because I don't have the answers. I just know that my trainers recommended that I take it and also to drink a lot of water with it. So one full scoop of that and for my collagen, usually I do two spoonfuls, but today I'm only going to do one, mainly because I'm running low and I'm trying to savor it. I honestly just don't want to buy another one, so yeah. So one spoonful of this. Just pour that in there. That's basically it, now I'm good to go. I'm honestly surprised that Penelope is awake because usually when I get up in the morning, she just lays in bed still. I think she's awake because she sees my camera <laughs> in my tripod and she's kind of scared of it. Um, if you guys want more Penelope content, be sure to follow her on TikTok because she is a content creator, honey. Don't be scared, baby. Okay, now she wants a belly rub. all right y'all arm day is complete my arm is shaking so sorry for the unsteady camera but i got my flowers as y'all saw now i'm about to head to walmart to get my pickup order so we can go home put the groceries away and get ready for our day of designing flowers don't they look so pretty because my apartment like I don't really have a lot of color in here and I like it that way so I can add different pops of color throughout the year rather than sticking to one consistent theme um, my cabinets are light gray my countertops are black so I really do love adding flowers different kinds of flowers with different colors to add that pop of color in my home it just 
bring some life you know <sighs> speaking of i'm not really sure if i'm gonna decorate for fall i know for sure i'm gonna decorate for christmas but i feel like fall just goes by so fast and by the time i do want to decorate for fall it's gonna be over in time to decorate for the holidays so i don't know we'll see done putting up the groceries i put the flowers in the vase um trying to decide if i'm going to shower first and then eat breakfast or eat breakfast first and then shower i think i'm gonna eat breakfast first and then shower um and then gotta get to work I finally made it to my desk, so it's time to get this day started. It's like every time I start working, Penelope wants to bother me. Y'all saw how excited she got. She jumped off the couch. Hi, get your camera time. Woo, woo, woo. Sometimes I feel like there's not enough space on my desk. I have my desktop, my personal laptop, and then my work laptop for my full-time job. I do freelance on the side. Um, but my main focus today is getting things done, obviously, for my full-time job. My, I have my planner right here. I got it from Target. My friend Gabby got it for me. Thank you, Gabby. Here's what it looks like. You can write down your to-do list for every day. On today's to-do list, I have the Walmart pickup order, which I already completed. For my full-time job, I need to update the internal calendar and send that back over to HR. And I also need to complete NHL FTRs. FTRs are basically the design slash images that go on the website. So I'll be working on those. Once I complete all my things for my full-time job, then I will go into freelancing. I currently have two clients right now. I am working on a very big event I've been working on it since July we are at the home stretch so we have a lot of things that need to happen I need to do some revisions to the invitation and I also need to add some honoree headshots to their landing page I also need to curate some color palette options for my other client she is opening a pediatric dentistry in July of next year in 2025 so we've been working on that logo for the past four weeks we have entered the last round of revisions. so before I do revisions I do want to work on the color palette options just just so we can see what kind of colors we want to use for the logo those are due on friday but i do want to go ahead and get a start on that today is tuesday by the way i also have that i want to complete editing for the royal caribbean cruise that i just went on i started editing last night i'm like 20 minutes in i don't know if i'll finish today but we'll see and the last thing that i'm doing today is i um, going to get tacos with gabby later tonight because it's taco tuesday so i do have a Loaded schedule today. I wanna see if I can fit in a 30 minute nap sometime around lunch because I am feeling a little tired. I've been up since 4 a.m. I don't know why I woke up so early, but I was not able to sleep. <sighs> so I'm feeling a little tired. However, I am happy that I got up early because I really did need this head start because I wanna start crossing things off of this to-do list so I can get done with work, okay? So here's my planner. I have basically what I just said, Walmart pickup order, complete the FTRs, update the calendar. I emailed Dr. J last night to let her know that I need seven business days to complete revisions. Um, I need to update the invitation and I also need to update the landing page. Complete editing, Royal Caribbean vlog. This is a question mark. I'm going to try and then dinner with Gabby for sure because we are getting those tacos tonight.
I am looking up images of Connor McDavid. The image is to place him and another hockey player in the background. I'm gonna lower the transparency and make them black and white so you can kind of see them in the background but they're not too prominent. I kind of want an image of them like looking like they're focused slash a little aggressive. I feel like that'll look good visually for this FTR. So I do like these two images of Connor McDavid and Austin Matthews. I think they'll look good on either side of the logo in the middle. So I'll put Austin Matthews on this side and Connor McDavid on the right side. Basically a perfect head to head scenario if you ask me. They have the same body language slash body positioning and kind of the same facial expression. So I think it'll work perfectly for this scenario. Okay y'all, so I'm eating lunch, still working on this graphic. I'm almost done just adding two more players. Well, I need to add one more now over here in this corner, but then I should be good to go. So, you know. Bring this down some. Should be good to go. I won't be surprised if there are revisions. Also, pro tip, usually you're supposed to align the eyeballs, but it still feels off, like, it still feels a little uneven. Hmm. It's okay to break some design rules. Preferably Tuesday and Thursday would work for me. Okay. Let me double check my calendar so I can see what time. And then, as I mentioned in the email yesterday, um, I am going to relook at the list because obviously at this point, I don't think we're going to do everything. Um, there's been uh, a lot of like just like infrastructure challenges. Like, Do you have a projected date on when I'll receive the copy for those? I, I do not, other than to say it's so as possible. All right, y'all. So right now, I am about to go on Priceline to start looking at hotels because I was just on the phone with my client a few minutes ago, and I was just invited to the event towards the end of the month, and I will be going to New York. I'm extremely excited to see my work on display. This will be amazing for my portfolio, and it will be a great networking opportunity. Side note, this playlist gets me through my work days. The on-repeat playlist on apple music i love it i love it i love it it's versatile it has all the bangers 10 out of 10 all right guys i know i'm in the same spot but a few hours have passed and i'm feeling really good about my productivity today i got a lot of things done and also got good news which was being invited to new york for the event so let's see I have my planner in front of me. I'm just going to check off some things that I've completed. I completed the NHL on Amazon Prime FTRs. I updated the internal calendar for my job. Um, still waiting to hear back from her because one of the dates were a little wonky. She had November 31st on there with an event, but there is no November 31st on the 2024 calendar. I sent her a draft of what it looks like, but the final is not done. So I'm just going to put a star by that so I know. Maybe I'll even highlight it. I need some new highlighters because these highlighters are dying. Um, let's see. I emailed Dr. J like I said earlier. I updated the invitation and updated the landing page. I did not complete editing for the Royal Caribbean vlog. I'm probably going to do this later this evening if I have energy after dinner. Usually I get kicks of energy late at night. I don't know why that's just me. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is dinner with Gabby. I also want to read my Bible so I'm probably going to do that now while I have the time. And I also went to the gym this morning. So I feel like I had a good work day i wasn't able to show you guys the calendar update because that's internal information for my job and the i can show you guys the invitation um once it's finalized it probably won't be in this vlog so make sure you guys subscribe and turn on your post notifications for the next vlog so you guys can see that. But you guys did get to see the nhl ftr which i thought came out pretty good let's continue on with the day i i feel really good so that's my life. I told y'all Penelope, she <laughs> wants to be in my skin. She's a cute little baby. Now the camera's on you, you don't know what to do. Excuse me, little lady, just wanna 
grab my Bible here. All right. My Bible. I have the English Standard Version, which I got off of Amazon. I'll link it in my Amazon storefront below. Also grabbing my iPad because I do my Bible study notes and my church notes on my iPad. And then the last thing I need to do is grab my laptop. This is Kanoi Gibson. She's on YouTube and she does Bible study every single day. 365. She did it last year. She's doing it this year. And this year I'm doing it. I'm on day 29. And we completed the book of Job. Currently, we are in the book of Genesis. Today is actually the last day that we're in Genesis, which is honestly really cool and an accomplishment for me. I told myself this year that I wanted to grow my relationship with God, so I'm doing just that. And I'm having an amazing time doing it, honestly. Today, we are doing chapters 48 through 50. I like to do a different color every day. Or it prints these little stickers. It's not the greatest quality, but I love it because it keeps me from having to write 49 bullet points. And these bullet points today came from the EnduringWord.com commentary. And so I just figured I would point. Nevertheless, his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his offspring shall become a multitude of nations. So he blessed them that day, saying, By you Israel will pronounce blessings, saying, God make you as Ephraim and as Manasseh. Thus he put Ephraim before Manasseh. Made me think again about what it means to be fruitful. Fruit of the spirit being love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I thought, man, am I bearing all of these things? So heart check. Are you a fruitful bough? What fruit can your tree work to bear? And some might say, well, how in the world do we work on that? All right, y'all, so I just got home. It's currently 9.03 p.m. Gabby and I went to Marie's Mexican restaurant to eat some tacos. Unfortunately, I forgot to get video footage because we were just having girl chat. But here's a picture of my tacos. They were so good. I got three burrito tacos and rice and beans. 10 out of 10. Usually, I have a taco and a half with some leftover rice and beans to go. But this time, I ate everything and I do not regret it. Now, I'm about to take a shower, get ready for bed. Be sure to hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on some different graphic designer videos that you guys would like to see. Be sure to come back next week for another graphic designer day in the life. And let me know how you guys like this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.